Is it on? And now, an account of actual events that happened on Friday the 13th. Oh no. When I woke up this morning, I didn't want to get up. When I went on the bus, the kid that smelled like B.O. sat next to me. When I got my cereal this morning, there was none left. I ate all yesterday. When I got to school and put things in my locker, I forgot my finger was in there and it got smashed. When I read my book, I had already read the whole thing, so there's nothing left to read. In first hour, I got a pop quiz. In first hour, I had to do math problems. In second hour, there wasn't any funny jokes. In second hour, we watched a sad movie. Hmm. In third hour, there was nothing to do. In fourth hour, Everybody thought my poem was cheesy. In fifth hour, there were no experiments. At lunch, half of my Nutella sandwich got wet and the other was freakishly dry. So I had to eat half water, half dryness, and frozen Nutella. Just a shame. In band, I played a wrong note. In task, I forgot I didn't do all my homework. On the bus back home, I had to listen to my iPod because nobody would talk to me, as usual. In enrichment, I spoke too loudly. When I got home, my sister was watching television, so I couldn't watch any. When I got home, my sister punched my arm. When I was doing my homework, my pencil broke. When I was eating dinner, I choked on a chicken bone. When I was eating dessert, I gained three pounds. When I was running off those three pounds, I fell on my face. When I fell on my face, I broke my nose. When I broke my nose, I had to go to the hospital. When I had to go to the hospital, my nurse wasn't even cute. When I when the nurse wasn't even cute, the doctor was a Russian. <laughs> I couldn't understand him at all. And that was my Friday the 13th. By the way, our noses are magically healed because of the power of scariness. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you.